Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Adam with AK Lighting here to help you install and or improve your own landscape lighting. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to light up a smaller house with just a few lights. And with that being said, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to this channel. And with that being said, I'm going to jump right into the video. So here we have the kit and this is what the light looks like. So this is a Volt lighting kit that you can get on Amazon and I will have links in the description below so that you can click on it and it will take you right to the Amazon website. And that's the bulb, it's a 2700K which is a warmer white color light bulb. And then here is a connector that the company has just come out with. Now these connectors I really don't care for. This is what it looks like on the inside. Um, you just clamp on the wire, and this is the wire that you get. You clamp in the wire onto that connector. Um, but I use another waterproof connector. And then the lights come in this box. There's a transformer and the stakes. So here it is, I pulled everything out of the box. This is what you get in the kit. And I'm going to walk you through kind of the design of the home. So over on this left side of the house, we're going to make sure we put a light on the corner. And then we're going to put a light on this corner right there. And, and then one more um, right there to the left. We're going to have to go through the gap in front of the door um, to run the wire. We're going to put a light in that little island right there and then run through the other gap um, across the driveway. So here I am using my drill, drilling a hole through this mortar so I can fish the wire through. Now I actually need a fatter drill bit, but this is the one that I had and uh, I will be using a fatter one. It, make, it makes it a lot easier to fit the wire through a bigger hole than what I had to make. So this is how you fish the wire through the hole and you pull it and there you have it and then we're done with that. So alright, so I'm going to show you we are done with the job. We need to make sure we trim these bushes so that the lights don't cast a shadow from the bushes. Now you just need to take off about four, five inches so that there's a, a bigger gap behind the bushes for the light to shine. So we have this light right here. And again, cut about that much from off the bush. The light's gonna shine up in the area. This top second story area is probably gonna be pretty dark, but the customer was okay with that, especially because he's got a couple trees that will block it. And then we have this light right here. Again, trim the bushes a little bit, and the light is supposed to shine in that area right there. So tilt the light in a way that it will shine on the peak. So the wire ran in through this gap, and went to this other light on this other little island. And again, we're gonna have it angled to hit this upper left part so it's not dark. And then we ran the wire in the ground back here under the fence. And there's almost always an outlet by an air conditioning unit. So that's where we decided to put the transformer. And here it is mounted. Uh, this comes with a photo cell and a timer. So we're gonna set it to come on um, for about six hours at night. So here's a quick little close up of the lights. So you can see what it looks like. And the customer sent me this video. So this is what the lights look like at night. They look really nice. You can tell that the lights are evenly spread across the house. And if you would like help on your landscape lighting project or like my help, go to the description below and click one of the links. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Best of luck with your landscape lighting project and I will see you in the next video. Bye.